In this video, we're going to be looking at Google Classroom. So you want to start with a Google tab open. In the grid in the upper right hand corner, you can click in there, it shows me the account. I'm in my teacher account and I have all the Google apps there. Classroom is one. So we're going to click on the classroom. This will take you to your dashboard. So here I can see all the different classes that I'm a teacher in and also ones that I'm a student in. So on the side, if you click the three little bars, here you can see these are the classes I'm a teacher in, and then down below, the classes that you are enrolled in, meaning you are a student. All right, this section is also where you can archive classes. So at the end of the school year, when I'm done with the class, I can archive it so that it doesn't show up on my dashboard. It keeps all your classes there, so if you ever have to get a class back, from archive, you can go into the archive section and retrieve it. So here we're going to be taking a look at my geometry class. So I click on the title, it opens up that classroom. You can see here I've got a different theme established in the header. All right, my class is titled, and here we're in the stream tab along the top. So these are all announcements that go out whether the teacher posts an announcement directly or every time you put in an assignment, it'll put in an announcement for students to see that. The next tab is our classwork. So if we click on that, you can see here I've got some units developed. So those are topics I create to keep my work organized. So basically a topic is whatever chapter or unit you're working on. So I have some assignments in these different topics. Over on the next tab is where you'll see people. So it lists both the teachers and the students. So if we look at this class, you can see Joe teacher, he's the main teacher of the class, but then I have a co-teacher listed with me. So that co-teacher can also go in and post assignments, um, ask questions to the class and have the role of a teacher. Your students are all listed down below. And this is where you might need to go to email a guardian if you have something about the student you would like to share. The last tab we're going to look at is our grades. So you click on that, you'll see a grade book appear here. All right, it's got the class with the students and all my assignments along the top. 